So I've had a long career in the biopharmaceutical industry. I was uh, most recently the president of Sanofi Pasteur Limited, a vaccine company, the vaccine division of Sanofi. And I've been involved with the biotechnology industry for a number of years with industry associations. I'm a past chair of rx and Biotech Canada. I was a founding board member of the Ontario Institute for Cancer Research, I was on the board of the Public Policy Forum, uh, Board of Governors of York University, and uh, the Markham Scoville Hospital Foundation. And I've been on the board of a couple of biotech companies, uh, such as Oncolytics Biotech Inc. And I retired from full-time employment with Sanofi Pasteur in January of 2017. And I thought about how do I want to spend my time going forward? And I have had experience in uh, governance, strategic planning, health policy, public policy, organizational development. So I thought about uh, board opportunities and where I might add some value. And so I've joined a couple of boards of biopharmaceutical companies. And I had this thought about uh, the cannabis market, the cannabis industry. And at the time, I didn't know very much about it, other than I thought it would be an interesting market, a growing market. Uh, be a lot of players, a lot of market development. Uh, I had anecdotal evidence about the benefits of medical marijuana. And I kind of had in the back of my mind, uh, that might be an interesting place to be part of. And uh, through a number of people, I uh, met Sasha Jacobs and learned about this biome opportunity and spent some time with him and Kerum and others and uh, joined the board two weeks ago. And I'm uh, very excited about what the opportunity is and what we might do to be a major player in it. Uh, growing industry, growing market, lots going on, lots of exciting opportunities, both in the recreational and I think the medicinal market, and a strategy that looks like it's pretty sound and one that we need to execute on and move forward. Now, there are a couple of things as I looked at this opportunity because I did want to be part of something that you know had merit, had value, that, that had credibility. And as I met the management team, um, Sasha and Kurum and others, and the other directors, uh, George Smitherman I knew from uh, working with industry and uh, Brett I knew about, and the more we talked about things and the more I reviewed the strategy, the more it looked like something that made sense. And uh, I met Steve Carrier today for the first time. I had seen his background, and I think we're bringing a lot of skill sets to building what I hope will be a board that can add value and has high credibility. And I think we're on the verge of, uh, of uh, some significant growth opportunities. I think there's a tremendous opportunity, and this could be a big threshold moment, uh, in the medical space, in pain relief. Um, personally, I know people who have their own anecdotal evidence about how uh, cannabis has helped them with their pain. And uh, these are from people I know, the stories make sense to me. I think it'll be very important to do the regulatory work, the clinical development work, uh, that's something I think I could bring from an industry perspective based on my past. Uh, the fact that I've had experience in developing and licensing products. I think that's going to be important to have medical basis for these products. But I believe it's there. I believe the concept makes sense. And uh, I believe we could have some therapeutic benefit in a number of areas. Pain management being one of them. And so we'll need to have the right product with the right characteristics, with the right quality, with the right regulatory standards and the right clinical trials. But I think that is on the horizon. From the recreational side, there will be opportunities for distribution that will put it on the, on the marketplace, freely available to consumers. Whether there's different forms for medicinal purposes, emphasizing the, the CBD and how that eventually plays out. A number of products go through that. They go through innovation, they go through prescriptions, they go through medicinal prescriptions, and then can become over-the-counter the, over products, which clearly could be the case. I think we're a long way from knowing what the answer is yet. We have to take these baby steps to go through it, but the opportunity is there. I think, again, we have evidence, uh, anecdotal evidence, personal stories, uh, that these products can make a difference. It's interesting when one knows people personally where this has benefited, you see, okay, we see that's possible. How do we build the regulatory, the compliance, the quality into the product so it can be licensed for that purpose and demonstrated around the world? And we've seen that in the U.S. where the first product was um, was approved for use in epilepsy in children. I mean, that's an important step. One of the areas I've worked on is um, cancer immunotherapeutics, products, biological products to treat cancer, cancer vaccines that can be used to stimulate the immune system to treat cancer. The technology is there, the science is there, 
When we have the first breakthrough, that will change that market. It could be the same with medicinal marijuana and cannabis uh, in this marketplace.